stop number two on the summer of 22 soda solar tour as i'm now i think calling it we are working on a marotta coachman it's uh relatively new i forget the year uh, i want to say 2016 and uh we are knee deep in it here so let me show you uh where we're at and what we're what we're planning to do and then of course we'll follow up on uh where we end up we got coco supervising here of course how am i doing girl all right well no news is good news uh let's see we've got uh oh we're doing something new we have uh, Battleborn GC2 batteries going in here. And one thing I found out, and I found other people have the same problem, it is nearly impossible to get these covers on on the negative side. So I put the negative down, because if that's not covered, it's not the end of the world. But they got these screw terminals on the top. I love these batteries, but it doesn't make sense. I mean, you can you can mount them any orientation you want. Uh, so, or you could put on a little platform or something. But as you can see, we are about out of room. I'm gonna put a little piece of, uh, a board over here so actually then they get a little bit more storage space for maybe more ladders or whatever they're doing there uh as usual we got the board going here and uh gonna have that upside down links distributor again and uh made them let's get a little close up here i made them one of those little cables did that just a little bit ago that uh, make all the lights work on the distributor i know i talk about it a lot but i think it's a nice little touch that makes this actually functional as far as letting you know which fuse is blown or not. In here, uh, this is where the old batteries used to be. We uh, cleaned that out. Actually, the customer took the batteries up, but we've cleaned up the compartment a little bit. And now we're running all the wires into here. And basically, in short, I'm just, the system we're creating in the other bay is just plugging into where the batteries used to plug in. And I'm not gonna worry about controlling the alternator charging because there already is uh, thermal breakers and uh, in here to protect the alternator which is the main concern the voltage on these never i've never seen it exceed uh what the batteries could take so i think we're going to forgo any kind of orion or anything like that on this one uh we did have one as an option but i don't think we're going to need to do it um alternators on these are usually pretty stout and like i said it'll uh the breakers on there will protect it so inside here, I think we're gonna put the uh, GX display right there. Just makes sense that we've done it before on a couple other uh, class A's like this. And as far as running the solar down, our plan originally was there's a little compartment back here. Oh, let's use the light to, uh, I was thinking, well, I can snake it back there, but, and then use this wall and come down but the more and more I got to thinking about it, no, we didn't go behind the fridge. They're pre-wired and pre-plumbed for a washer dryer. This used to be a closet, or it's normally a closet. It'll go back to being a closet, but there's all this space here. And actually we're gonna use the gray tank vent. Come down here and we're gonna pop a hole in there, seal it up, run the wires through. No extra holes in the roof for the wind. Then, uh, we, then we got our uh, AC panel right here. And we're just going to run from there, back behind there. And uh, actually, I think we're going to punch down through an existing hole. We're actually not adding hardly any new holes to this RV. Uh, go down underneath and then run along the frame rails. Oh, and uh, pop out in that other bay. So that's kind of the plan here. And uh, I'm at a place where I thought, you know, I should probably share something i've learned installing a number of these and i tried to do it a different way and it just it wasn't gonna work it wasn't gonna work so uh as you notice i like to install things on boards work on it on a table and then install the board because it's way easier did that with all that stuff worked on all that stuff here not bent over sweating in that small space in here uh, as you can see i put the mount for the multi plus i was considering well well you know, I don't have, I'm not mounting a whole bunch of other stuff to it. Maybe we'll just try and mount it directly to it. But uh, I tried to use some boards to stand it up off the floor a little bit. Now I could probably rest it right on the floor, but I wasn't con convinced that I was going to uh, be able to 
get that snug enough, snug enough on there that it wouldn't fall down. And you might say, well, why not just use, why not just use the screw holes here on the top and bottom? Well, you could do that, except you can't get access to these to put the cover back on. So the only, the only way you can do it really is to mount it to a board and then secure the board to the wall. So that's what we're gonna do. Coco, anything you wanna add? She's just really enjoying the, uh, the cement floor here. And I can't complain again about the accommodations here either. Working in a nice pole barn again. Love it. Well, it's nighttime. We are wrapping up on day two and uh, added the, uh, well, this is where this is at. Added that little uh, USB LED strip in this uh, compartment. Looks real nice. Got the uh, inverter on, got the uh, AC out. Wires run or connected. The AC in is run. I'll show you where we're running that. Um, but we've got uh, inverting power going. Tested that that's working. And uh, what did I end up doing here? Ugh. It's a mess everywhere, right? You got to make a mess to make progress. So. Got this taken care of here. Use the uh, blue uh, wire nuts on there, taped them up. Oof. This is uh, what's going on here. Got the uh, solar lines run up through here. I don't have this sealed up yet because I don't know the length uh, that I'm gonna need for the panels up top. Those are just sitting up there. They're not installed yet. That's for tomorrow. I ended up running, uh, I took a fish tape, shot it through here, popped out down here. I could take a look at it. And uh, yeah, I was able to fish and then uh, pull the wire through here. And I popped that wire up through the bottom of the compartment. I can show you where that's at. So anyway, the solar wire comes up through here and over and then up. I was thinking about popping the solar wire up somewhere else, but this just made sense. So it's coming up right through there, up there, and there's a whole big cavity underneath here that can that runs pretty much the length of it. That's where the heating ducts are and all that stuff. Uh, AC lines ran those through the existing hole over here, down underneath the frame rail. I'd show you, but it's dark and you won't be able to see anything. Coco, how are we looking, girl? She's on the job getting dark over here I know but um, and then they there's a there's an existing hole over there pop the these up through here I'll wrap these in conduit like I've done in other ones and I'll secure those to this back plywood board back there and these are also going up through an existing hole here and the uh, uh, the main circuit breaker box is right back here and you just got to shove the wire up in there and you can grab it no problem so I only added one I only made one new hole down here and that was for the solar wires that was it oh, I think uh, I think that's about it though for tonight tomorrow's gonna be wrapping up the solar and then testing everything programming everything uh, but we are definitely in the home stretch <clears throat> well here's the roof all finished up got four panels here four back here I think it'll be all right. And uh, did the, uh, right through the gray tank vent. We hope anyway, now it is. I'm all about uh, being real and authentic here and uh, we had a problem. Um, just doing uh, the final, final check through on this and um, all of a sudden the Multi Plus 2 started buzzing I've actually never had one of these fail, but I think it has. So, yeah. And sometimes, if I smack it, it stops. And I've actually gotten it to stop like this, and I run the air conditioner just to really load test it, because that's what I do when I'm finishing up the installs, and then it went back to overloading. And if I smack it again, sometimes it'll, yeah, there it goes. 
and now it's overloaded. And that's not the main point of this segment of the video. The main point is um, it's really nice to mount things to a separate board because now I can pull that all out and then I can work on all the connections right there. It was just a couple of screws to pull that out because uh, now it's going to be a pain in the butt to have to uh, change out all those connections. And uh, this ends up being not a bad thing because, look at this, I carry a spare. So we'll pop that one in and see if that's any different, but uh, I've done a, all the diagnosing I can on this. I think it's defective. I think there's a cold solder joint in it somewhere or something. We can get into that later or I won't, whatever. All right, wrapping up on uh, day four and that's uh, one day overtime. Coco has uh, overseen it and says we're in good shape. Uh, we are currently doing a charge on the batteries. Everything's looking great. We've done a load test. Uh, runs the air conditioner on here just fine. Quick uh, and quick little look at here and where we installed the screen. So we are pushing. 115 amps into the batteries. We did have initially, this is one of the reasons why I always do a test on everything. Um, I didn't have one of the AC inline seated 100%. So, um, diagnose that real quick. You looking at this and made sure that was good to go. And as you can see, uh, we do have a little bit lower voltage on uh, line one because that's what the MultiPlus uses for charging. You can see the amps, amps bring down voltage. Today we're gonna be wrapping up and heading out. It's been good. Uh, if you want something like this uh, in your rig, we try and come up with creative ways to make it work for your space and still keep storage, still keep it usable. Um, try and make it look nice as best we can. Um, we're always improving. Give us a shout on the internets or whatever way you see fit. Uh, check us out at sodasolar.com. Uh, link down below. You can even shoot us a comment here. Uh, probably texting works best or an email, but don't be surprised if we don't get back to you right away because when we're working on a project like this, it's sometimes 10, 12 hour days and it's falling into bed at night in the bus and then getting up in the morning. It's about uh, it's, uh, 7, 18 in the morning and we're just wrapping up. So we, we like to start early if we can. So that's about it. So that's about it for this Coachman Murata. Uh, I think it's about 35, 36 feet. It ended up being a lot easier to work on than I thought, although I've been feeling that more and more about as we do more and more of these projects.